Hello and welcome to this vlog. It has been such a long time since I've vlogged, I feel. Like a proper, just, this is what we're doing. Kind of day. What are we doing today? We're gonna go to Hull House Cafe because we went there that one time and I absolutely loved it so much and I've been dreaming of going back this whole time. I've wanted to for the last like few weeks and it's just never worked out. Today we're just gonna go. The weather is shite. It's awful. It is so gloomy and dreary, but the weather has been awful for weeks now. <laughs> and so I've given up. I've given up hope for a nice day. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go and see what yummy treats they have. And then they have a fun little P-A-R-K there that we're gonna let him play at because he's not gonna do well if he's cooped up all day. So yeah, we're gonna head over there, see what happens. We had breakfast earlier. It's now like, <laughs> you gotta get a little lower. Oh, there you go. We had breakfast like two hours ago. <laughs> but Billy just had his because he's doing intermittent fasting right now, which has been fun because he didn't like look up the rules on how to intermittent fast at all. He just started doing it and he's like, I love it. <laughs> Anyways, my chair is being assaulted. We gotta finish getting ready and then we're gonna go. <laughs> bye bye. But yeah, I feel like I have so much to do and so much to talk about in this vlog because we haven't vlogged in such a long time. So uh, it might be a long one. We'll see. Ready to go? Uh -huh. huh? Yeah, we got our raincoats, uh -huh. gum boots. We're ready for this yucky day. We're just hanging out at the playground right now. It's actually not raining for once in my life. I just feel like so many of my videos recently have been so pregnancy related, which has been fun. But I also understand not most of my audience is pregnant, like here for pregnancy content. But anyways, that's what my channel's always been, I guess. It's just whatever phase of life we're going through. And right now, that is what it is. But it's almost over. <laughs> I only have a couple more weeks. I'm actually wearing a shirt. That kind of fits me. This is also interesting because it is the last vlog that we have coming out until the baby's here. So it's gonna be kind of crazy. But yeah, there's a lot that's gonna happen in the next little bit. I think we're gonna go inside and get some food because <laughs> the toddler's demanding it. Got a wet butt? <laughs> No, don't walk in the flowers. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> oh, I guess like the last little bit of videos that I have coming out because we're gonna have like a Christmas one and then like a, a year recap one because those are really fun for us. I don't care if anybody else likes them. And then after that, it should be like, we're having the baby. I'm also gonna try to batch a little bit of content so then we have the ability to take a little bit of time off especially because it's gonna get real hectic with having a newborn and figuring out how to move <laughs> to countries. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be doing like a QA and a video. So if anybody has any fun questions for us, feel free to comment them, but I'll also re-ask it on like my Instagram and just in like the community thing on YouTube anyways. You just climbed out there. <sighs> you did it! Oh, so fast. <laughs> the crazy thing about this stage of pregnancy, because I am 38 weeks tomorrow, <laughs> just like, I really could go into labor any second. Like I'm having a, a Braxton Hick right now. That didn't come out right. Is this the start? Is this it? Am I going into labor? <laughs> Is today the day? But of course, no, I'm going to have another three weeks. 
a long while ago, <laughs> like a month ago maybe, we actually went down to Rotorua because Billy was playing a concert down there. And so it was just one night, but I was like, oh, it'll be so fun. Except then it rained the whole time. <laughs> like it rained so hard the first day. And there was this really, really fun park right outside the hotel. And so I was like, oh, this will be great, Billy. You can go do your rehearsals and your concerts and I'll just play with William around the hotel. It'll be grand. <laughs> <laughs> the next day was really fun like we got to go to the redwoods and walk around there and it's just so beautiful <laughs> it's like magical anytime there's redwoods involved and then after that we went to the hot pools which we tried to do that the last time but it just didn't work out so we went to the Waikite hot pools this time but it was great like it actually ended up raining while we were there but it was okay because we we're swimming in hot pools I had to make sure I didn't poach the egg <laughs> so I didn't stay in any of the pools for too long and you know there's like the different gratings like some of them are super hot I didn't really get into those ones and then they had some of the nicer like cooler ones so it was just like a really magical fun little trip a fun little getaway oh I just feel like I have so much to talk about and share I'm gonna talk your ear off this whole video <laughs> <laughs> we just got home somebody's gonna turn the air on we keep the remote over there <laughs> until he climbs onto this and then reaches up and gets it can you press the blue one? <gasps> nice job Ooh, yeah you turned it on <laughs> so exciting <laughs> So yeah, we are home. It is really hot and muggy and humid and gross, but good thing we got an air conditioning now. Are you gonna jump? Wow. It is this really weird thing now though, cause it's like he's done with work and now we're just gonna sit here and wait. Like we're gonna wait to have the baby and then we're gonna have to wait to get the baby's passport to then fly back home. It's actually really kind of stressful and I'm a little bit scared because Oh, hello. Because we can't put in for the appointment and stuff. Because <laughs> we can't put in for the appointment until the baby's actually born. And so it's just this big waiting game there too. I can't have a full thought in my head right now. Oh, thank you. So once we have the appointment, then we have to wait another few weeks for the passport to come. We've talked to them a few times already about like oh, can we get an expedited kind of thing? And they're like, oh, it's a case-by-case -case basis and we can't start your case until you put in for the appointment. <laughs> so it's just really stressful. Ugh. There's a few different scenarios on how that will work out. The bad case scenarios I'm not happy about. And so I'm kind of scared and nervous about that. But if anybody needs a house sitter, <laughs> let us know. We're just kind of sitting here feeling the march of time. Not much we can do except sit and wait and wait. And wait and wait so there's just some stressful days sometimes where I'm like <laughs> very unhappy and it's just kind of like paralyzing all the uncertainty and doubts and fears and stuff that's where we're at right now <laughs> not the greatest but it is what it is and I know like at the end of it all it'll work out and it'll be fine and we'll be settled somewhere and we'll look back at this time and be like wow what a crazy thing we went through but it doesn't make right now feel better That little monster under the bed. Do you want to know something that was actually so dangerous? <laughs> RJ's, as in my favorite candy in New Zealand, well, one of my favorite candies in New Zealand, sent us like a goodie box as a, a thank you because we made, we made a silly little reel and like TikTok. <laughs> it's so dangerous. We've already gone through so much of like this bag of candy already gone. There's another bag that's already gone. This one, half gone. It's so fun though. I was super excited, obviously, because I love it. I'd also never had like half these candies. We've been making some good progress on them. These are incredible. These are incredible. I have been so into sweets this whole pregnancy. <laughs> it's so scary. We're now currently listening to Brahms 3, and he has been obsessed with helping make, oh, there's a spider in my camera. Obsessed with helping make juices right now. He loves helping to make them. He doesn't necessarily love drinking them. Like, he will drink them, but 
yeah, the main part of the activity is making it. So we'll see what veggies and stuff I have to put in it. I've been reading a book called Hunt Gather Parent recently, and one of my biggest takeaways is like get the kids involved in the helping with everything, because that's what they crave to do. Like they want to be in the adult world and they want to learn everything that we're doing. If we're making food now, I'm like, hey, do you want to help? And he always jumps on the opportunity and comes over and helps us. the dishes same thing with like washing dishes now i'm like hey do you want to help wash dishes or vacuum or whatever and he loves it the hardest part is that there is more mess involved usually but they do learn and get better over time and so if you teach them to like helping now theoretically they'll like helping later this might be the false naive hope of a first time parent but i'm gonna try it Ma? Ma? Is that on mine? how is it is it yummy he always steals my cup. <laughs> Mom's is always better, huh? I do love making juices. I feel a little wasteful every time I do it, but then I'm like, well, I am getting more nutrients than I would have otherwise. And I'm even more okay with it right now because pregnant, growing a human, and he's a growing boy. So I'll take it. It's fine. <gasps> yeah, it's raining, huh? Well, this is a little bit spicy. <laughs> it's so good. What did we do? Ginger, turmeric, celery, and apple, and carrots. Billy just got home from work, so that's exciting. So for dinner, we're just gonna have very unglamorous kind of leftover things. So I just have some roasted potatoes that somebody just ran off with. Here, take a peek. <laughs> <laughs> those are just cold potatoes. Anyways, so I'm gonna reheat those in a skillet and then we'll just like scramble some eggs, throw it with some avocado and cheese and a breakfast burrito kind of thing. So we're gonna have that for dinner. Maybe some peas on the side for some extra veggie goodness. And then Billy has decided that he's going to make some like espresso coffee brownies. I'm not complaining. Hold it tight and go. saw something where you need to prepare your chocolate powder with by putting it in water for a couple minutes but then you can also go a step further and do it in espresso and it brings out the richness in the chocolate oh the richness in the chocolate <laughs> quit eating the cheese you gonna eat a cucumber uh-oh i waited too long on this where's the spatula you look atrocious, but they're going to be incredible. <laughs> this is how our dinners usually go. Billy's almost done eating by the time I start eating. Somebody's climbing all over me. Mm. Yeah, this is a good, like, leftovers. We used up a lot of things in the fridge, which is really nice. Mm. Mm. While the brownies were cooling, William fell asleep on me, so we just put him to bed. He doesn't get any brownie tonight. <laughs> Poor guy. But he'll get some tomorrow. We're gonna sit and enjoy this and watch a show and then play a game or something and go to bed. But I will see you the next day. It is raining. It hasn't stopped raining. It never stops raining. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you later. Hello! It is a new day. <laughs> we are heading out to go strawberry picking, which I'm so excited about. And it's actually really funny because Billy pulled up the pictures from last year when we went strawberry picking because he wanted to show William, just be like, oh, we're going strawberry picking. Like, this is what it looks like. And I was looking at the dates on it and it's exactly the date of today. So <laughs> I guess we have a time for these things. We are going strawberry picking for this morning and then for lunch, I'm going to meet up with my friend, Laura. We're gonna have lunch together, just me and her. So I'm super excited about that because <laughs> I never do that, first of all. And second, yeah. I'm just excited to go out and have a good lunch. So that'll be fun. And then after that, I'm going to pack my hospital bag because I am over 38 weeks now. 
that could be any day and I really should have one packed. I could get away with not packing one and just packing one like when I go into labor, but you know, be prepared, why not? So, the <laughs> oh, we're going in a tunnel, woohoo! Last year, I was the smart one that put him in a white shirt to go strawberry picking. Who puts a toddler, a one-year-old, in a white shirt to go strawberry picking? That was my genius move. Anyway, so yeah, he's wearing some nice dark colors when he dribbles strawberry juice all over himself. Oh, be as big of a deal. Yeah, climb over me. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I was a lot more interested in the train than the strawberries, but oh well, we came and accomplished, and it was fun. Train oh, ride number two. I know this is. Look at how like idyllic this day is. Here, here, share some with mommy. I'm a bite. I'm a bite. Can I have one? Oh, you don't eat the bottom. Here, my turn. Here. <laughs> we have all the windows in the house closed because it's so hot outside. But we just got home and I literally walked in the door and now I'm going to change my shoes and go to lunch because I'm about to be late. So, let's go. What a day. It's like I haven't stopped all day. Went strawberry picking this morning and then yeah, came inside, turned around, we're right out to lunch, which is really nice and really fun. And then came home, and then we had somebody come over for like a, a visit appointment kind of thing. And now, here I am. I'm going to film this last little bit that I wanted to for this. I've been running around the house getting the few things that I do pack for a hospital bag. So let me get you situated. Situated. I was going to do a whole separate video on the hospital bag, but then I realized I didn't care and I realized nobody else should care. I nixed that idea and decided to just fold it into this vlog. I mean, I understand, like, there are so many uncertain things around giving birth, especially if you're a first-time mom and you just want a little bit of control. So you sit there and you do all this research on, like, what everybody brings in their hospital bags and it just kind of blows me away how much stuff some people bring. I asked on my Instagram, like, oh, what are some key things that you th thought were, like, really necessary to bring? And there are some really fun things on there. I'll go ahead and, like, share what everybody shared. But my favorite was I brought my hospital bag and I didn't touch a single thing in it. This is the bag that we're going with today. This is a beautiful vintage high school marching band duffel bag <laughs> that I had. And it's great, like it's a great size and whatever. So we're just gonna go with that. So I have on my phone here the whole list of everything. A lot of this stuff I'm not even gonna pack until the day of because I use it daily. And so, I don't know. This is it's so funny to me that people get this obsessed about hospital bags and there are so many videos out there on them. Starting out with like toiletries and bathroom stuff. I feel like whatever you need to be comfortable. So if you live your daily life and you need certain items all the time to be comfortable, like if you need a specific like night mask to sleep every night, then you're going to need to bring that. 
However, I don't, so I'm not going to bring something like that. This is my toiletry bag. It is a old sheet bag. I'm just gonna bag the stuff that I know that I have extras of. So like toothpaste, I have an extra one of that. This is my husband's deodorant. Usually I use my own homemade deodorant, but I'm just going to pack this just so that I have peace of mind of knowing that I at least have that packed. And then hair ties are always good. I'm going to grab my own bar of soap because I like my soap. And then I wear contacts daily. So I will bring my contacts case with the solution already in it. So that and then my glasses. And then the other thing that I am kind of picky about is my face washing situation. Cause I feel like when giving birth, you get pretty grungy, sweaty, gross. So feeling clean after is just a real treat. I am going to be bringing my like specific face wash, my little face scrubber, and my moisturizer for after. And that is my toiletry section. So moving on to the electronics. I'm going to bring, I already have an extra phone charger. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that in. And then I also have my corded headphones, and I'm going to go ahead and pack those. I don't use those very often, but I will be bringing my wireless ones. But just in case these die on the day of, or I forget to pack them, whatever, I have the corded ones. So that's great. I'm actually going to leave these up. The other two things that I have on my list that I'm not going to pack, pack quite yet are the laptop. And specifically the laptop with some shows downloaded already onto it. Because you never know if your place, like your hospital, is not going to have good Wi-Fi, whatever. And sometimes you have a lot of downtime. So it's really nice to bring some entertainment so that you're not sitting there bored out of your mind. I'm going to be bringing my camera <laughs> and tripod, the extra batteries, and the battery charger. And that is because I am hoping to film this birth. I actually really wish that I had filmed my first one just because when you're giving birth you forget most of it and it just kind of flies by and you don't like comprehend it really well I would say just because you're just like not in the normal headspace. I'm really sad that I didn't film my first one. That's it for the electronics. Moving right on to the biggest section is just clothes. You're gonna notice a real theme here. It's just black. So I'm gonna be bringing, these are just some like really comfy black like sweat shorts. And then I'm also going to be bringing some black leggings, just soft, basic black leggings. And then I'm going to be bringing these like flowy, really thin black pants. So I have a few options depending on like how cold my room is or how like gross I got one pair of things or whatever. And then I'll be wearing a shirt obviously when I go into the hospital, but I'm bringing one basic t-shirt to go home in. I'm not the most glamorous type out there, so this will do me good. And black is just great because then you don't have to worry about getting it like stained or grody. We have our granny panties as I like to call them. These are just like the cheapest undies from Walmart that I usually wear during my periods. <laughs> so I'm just bringing a few pairs of those. And then again, I don't care how stained or gross those get. The hospital will send me home with like pads and diapers and stuff. At least that's how it was with my first. But I will bring just a couple reusable pads just in case. Peace of mind. I'm going to pack a couple of extra bras. I figure I'll go in one and labor in one, but I know after my first one, you get really gross. And so <laughs> it was like a biohazard at that point. Definitely bring like an extra one or two bras to wear for after. I didn't need these with my first, but enough people said like, oh man, I didn't bring any breast pads and I regretted it. So I'll bring a couple. And then the last thing I have for me on my clothing list is just some thick, socks. These ones have the little stickies on the bottom for non-slip grip. Down I'll actually use these but I'll bring them just in case. <gasps> Spider go away. And the last thing that I won't pack yet is just I'm gonna wear Birkenstocks because that's what I will go to the hospital in. That's what I will leave the hospital in. Other stuff and this is the other funny thing to me it's like when people have a whole separate bag for their baby stuff. I feel like I'm going overboard by packing three outfits. I have a little like onesie, because it's going to be very hot and summery. So I have that light outfit. And then if I'm not feeling that one, I have a second option. If I'm not feeling that one, or if it's like cold in the room or whatever, then I have this, this cute one with long sleeves and longer legs and stuff. So got a few options. Because really, with, with my first, like we didn't put him in any clothes. He had a diaper on and then he would be swaddled. And so he didn't need that. Because we were like constantly doing skin to skin. They're not really wearing clothes that much. And I know that the hospital even had like some little clothes that they could put on him if I wanted to. But I don't think I ever did. So you kind of just want 
an outfit to bring them home in. So, overkill, but there it is. And then I do bring a blanket. And the last thing that I have on my list for the baby stuff is the car seat. And that will just be in the car. Yeah, that is the baby stuff. She's got a little side pocket. So the next section I have that I think is probably one of the most important is snacks. Now, this is not all the snacks that I'm going to be bringing. I'm just giving you a slight taste of what I will be bringing. Some really nice chocolate. Some nice fruity, like, granola bar kind of things. I'm probably going to get another more like peanut buttery, savory kind of granola bar kind of thing. I might pick up some candy. I will definitely be bringing like some fruit and stuff as well. And then along with that, you're gonna want, again, I'm not gonna pack this because I drink out of this every day, but a really nice water bottle. Extra points if it is like insulated and can keep water pretty cold for a long time. That's all I have. <laughs> the only other things is I will actually, I'm going to leave a side pocket for my husband's stuff because let's be real, he's not gonna pack his own bag. He's probably gonna remain in the same exact clothes that he goes in. Maybe bring another pair of undies and like shorts or something. And his toiletries will just go into my bag. Another thing that I will be doing is packing a separate backpack for my son. So when we need to drop him off at a friend's house, like it's already packed up, it's got some extra, extra, extra clothes, some food for him and stuff like that. So he will be all set and I don't have to worry about that. But just to show that you don't need much at all, this is from my midwife. She like wrote down a list of what to bring to the hospital. That first one, if you're not from New Zealand, is a swimsuit, togs. I'm actually not gonna bring that. Like I'm just gonna wear my bra and nothing else if I get into the, the birthing pool and Billy's not getting in with me. So we don't, we don't even need togs. My filming equipment, cause I specifically said that. And then nightwear, comfy, cozy clothes, t-shirt, drink bottle, toiletries, snacks, baby clothes and a car seat. That's all you need. I mean, it is very dependent on like what your hospital has. So definitely check and make sure that they provide the stuff like the diapers for you and the pads and stuff. And you know, some diapers for the baby and everything like that. But seriously, not a big deal. <laughs> It is not a time to be glamorous. I, a lot of people will like bring their whole breastfeeding pillow. And again, like I'm not judging. Do whatever you need to do to be the most comfortable and successful in your birthing and postpartum experience. I like to be very, very simple and minimal and no fuss. Anyways, I think that is it. Well, it's actually so weird to have it like packed. I just had a friend that was like, oh, you're gonna have your baby in like a week or two. And I'm like, I am. I really am. And I'm, uh, I'm just not mentally there yet. I guess I will be when I go into labor. But anyways, that is all I have. Thank you so much for watching this <laughs> vlog. I feel like it's kind of all over the place, but I had fun. I will see you guys next week. Bye.